What's going on, everyone? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today, we're going to talk about another Image Comics series, um, a really fluff and fun one um, for all you muffin puffers out there who really want to get into a, a fun story with a gratuitous cartoon violence, a very fun plot line, and uh, a relatively satisfying end considering the concept of the story. We're going to talk about I Hate Fairly, and we're going to look at the deluxes today as well. Um, in detail. Before we do that though, real quick, organicpricebooks.com. We've got two codes now. THC, ship it together. Gets you 5% off your order if you order three or more books. Um, and we've also still got our original THC2 code if you want to get $2 off your order. If you can only afford to get one book, um, if you want to limit your spending, there's that option as well. Now, let's get into I. Now, Scotty Young, written and drawn, um, all, all, all done by Mr. Young, uh, a fantastic, fantastic, fun book. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Scotty Young, he's, I think, most well known for, used to be anyway, for his Marvel variant colors, the, uh, I forget what the, the type of variant was called, a Young, I mean, Scotty Young variant, but, you know, it was the sort of childish version of Marvel characters. Uh, either way, he's done a, a lot of work since then, primarily at Image, uh, I Hate Fairyland being a creator-owned book that he wrote and drew. Uh, Middle West is another title which he wrote, did not draw, though. Very excited to get that hardcover. So, Scotty Young, I always liked his art style. I thought it was very, very fun. Um, and so, you know, knowing that he was going to be writing a title, I hadn't read much by him that he had written. So, this was a completely new experience for me. You know, these sort of uh, writers and writer and artists doing a, a single thing, you know, there, it doesn't happen very often. It doesn't work well very often in the comic book industry. But I hate Fairyland. Wow. What a good time. What an excellent fluff in time this book was uh follows a character named gertrude who as a child gets pulled into fairyland which is essentially the stereotypical archetype for any sort of fantasy cartoon show you know very cutesy things going on there's a kingdom there's a queen there's talking uh there's objects that speak and communicate that have personalities and attitudes things like that and gertrude unfortunately well fortunately is put on a quest uh in order to return back to the human world she must find a key 27 years later gertrude still has not found the key and so she's continued to age mentally as an individual but uh hasn't physically aged so she's stuck in this little child body but she's a you know a 30 something year old mentally a uh, very fascinating concept very fun concept and that sort of maturity in her mental age is where the gratuitous violence really kicks in with this series so uh, you've heard me say certain things that are, are unusual to say in sentences certain words but uh, a lot of those words make their way here muffin puffers muffin huggers uh, <laughs> things like that uh, so there's no real cursing in this book but the violence man the violence it's uh it's graphic it's graphic it's out there the art is stunning the colors are i mean to die for it's one of the most beautiful books to look at one of the most enjoyable books to look at ever um i really love scott young's art style for this title and the colors just make everything pop a thousand times more the silliness of the title is so much fun multiple multiple points of time I, I i was laughing out loud at this title uh and it's uh you know it, it's an interesting look at people and rules and and society as it were but you know for the most part this is a, a fun romp through a, a a fairyland universe where you know as a fan of fiction there's always been thoughts in my mind about there's an eye hole action for you all there's always been thoughts in my mind about like well we've got this cool universe set out in a disney movie what happened if someone was unleashed on it and just wreaked havoc and this is this title is that exploration uh it ran for 20 issues total along with a a special issue called i hate image which in my opinion is probably one of the funniest uh funniest issues i've ever read in my life i don't know if the initial printing of it came out with all the scenes at the end where they've got scotty young talking to other image creators it's a mi very minor spoiler it's not really going to ruin the story for you or anything but i mean 
cry. I was crying, laughing multiple times. I had to explain myself to my uh, the, my lady friend um, because I was literally crying, laughing as I'm reading a book, and she was very confused uh, and was asking me what could possibly be so funny in this book. And the the challenge that had to be overcome with explaining why I think a panel with Chips Darsky is funny, why I think a page with Jeff Lemire is funny, quite a challenge, but. Uh, for image fans, that issue in particular, if you're a fan of image creators, if you're a fan of image as a publishing company, you're going to absolutely adore that issue is by far one of the funniest issues I've ever read in my entire life. Uh, and I'm probably going to read it again <laughs> multiple times over because it's it's so, so smart and so funny. The other cool thing about these books, particularly the deluxe editions, is the the style of them. The colors are so exciting. It's so nice to have a cool pink and a cool green, uh, lime green, neon sort of green color book on the shelf. They really stand out. They really look exciting. The gold embossing on them is really nice as well. And, you know, having two volumes collecting the entire story is fantastic. It's a quick, quick read. There is that. But it's so enjoyable. It's absolutely a book that I'm going to reread in the future. It's just so much fun. It's just such a fun time to, to relax, not worry about... Um, you know, you, you don't have too many thoughts about serious topics as most comics tend to cover. Um, they're, they're, they get very serious and they have very serious moments and things that almost impact you emotionally to a point where at times you need to take a break from the book. I Hate Fairyland is not one of those titles. Uh, it's a book that you'll just keep wanting to read and you want more of it once it's done. You want to see more of these characters, see spin-offs. Uh, it's, it's wonderful. You want to see more of Scotty Young's drawing and exploration of this this universe so much fun seeing you know the the mushroom the mushroom cops seeing the yeah the village of shiitake so funny so creative so well done um between gertrude and larry larry is her sort of guide quote unquote um who's a fly essentially a cigar smoking fly uh fantastic fantastic duo um claudia is, is a, an, a very interesting character as well there's queen claudia who you get introduced to very early on uh, a lot of fascinating characters i just love this book so much it's so much fun it's so much fun i wish it could have gone on for another 10 issues uh, so we could have explored more of the fairyland universe but hey i'm not going to complain about 20 of the most fun issues i've ever experienced in my comic reading history i loved it i loved it so much uh, it, and uh, as in terms of scotty young's writing it absolutely makes me excited to check out middle west i think he wrote a fantastic story here with a lot of great characters some likable some unlikable the whole time it was fun i know middle west is a bit more serious but nonetheless i'm very excited to check it out and whatever else scotty young does in the future I, I really appreciate him a lot more as a creator after reading a title like this again where he does both art and writing duties uh, it's something tr truly fantastic you know not not many guys can do that uh, or gals um, I mean just thinking out loud you know John Byrne for the most part has hit it out of the park doing both writing and, and, and art um, Frank Miller did a few good titles on, on with writing and art duties but for the most part it's a very very challenging task Phil Jimenez another uh, creator that comes to mind George Perez as well, of course, uh, a lot of a lot of creators out there have tried it, but um, in terms of bonus content with these deluxes, you get some variant covers. You also get, I think it's a, about a script for each each deluxe edition, looking at a single issue from each one and script and showing you the script, um, which is really, really cool. I really appreciate that you get to see the artwork in pen and ink form, pencil and ink form, and then you got the, the script on the left hand side. Very cool. I always appreciate that in a hardcover uh, collection. So these are still readily available from what I've seen on Amazon, in stock trades, or, or organic price books, which is, in my opinion, the best place to go. Great service, um, amazing shipping. JP's fantastic. Check out his channel as well. He does overviews for new releases, um, new release videos showing you what's coming out that week. Really awesome stuff. Can't recommend that channel enough either. But I really love this series. Have you picked it up yourself? Would you recommend it to others? Personally, I think if you're a fantasy fan, I can't recommend it enough. If you're a fan of any animated sort of adult show, Family Guy, Rick and Morty, this is right up your alley as well. Definitely pick it up. Let us know down in the comments below what you thought. Thank you all for tuning in. This is Mike from the Hardcover Comic. As always, until next time, you stay classy, Internet.